goes to play VR. Dead. Oh my God, sir, we have to scan everyone. Can I watch you, this you, show? Do, do you like it? You like I do. It? I do. You you ain't watching it. Huh? Tell me what. Tell me what happened. You know we started over. We've started over five times. Cause you're not watching it. I'm watching you watch it. You know. Well, you keep it. popping up on me. Can I watch it? Yeah, but we're gonna start it over. Again? Yeah, cause you're not watching. It. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Agents of Shield. It is time for season four, episode fifteen. Episode 15s are usually pretty good. The last one we got was Space Time, probably still one of my favorite episodes of the entire series. Last time on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., um, <laughs> oh my gosh, this show is getting insane. Potentially four of our characters turned into LMDs, but my theory at the end of the episode was that actually probably just Fitz and Simmons and maybe Davis since he was with, with them at the submarine place. Maybe only they got turned into LMDs. They think they're back at S.H.I.E.L.D., but they're actually in the framework at S.H.I.E.L.D. fighting off, uh, I guess, or finding out about four new LMDs that just entered the building. That was my theory. I don't know if it's gonna be true or not. This is like my most, probably, uh, I'm so unsure about theories so far. But I want it to be true, cause I don't think they knocked out four of our characters. Coulson, was it, it was Mac, Jeffrey Mace, and Daisy? I don't think they knocked them all out and made LMDs of them. That's too much. And why would they make one of Daisy? That was the one part I was really like, I don't know, because she's barely even met Radcliffe. Like, she's barely been around him. I don't know if he'd have a brain scan of her and all this. That's what threw me off from that. But I don't know. Those are my predictions going in. Let's watch episode 15. If you've been enjoying Agents of Shield on the channel, definitely leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're headed to 20,000 subscribers in 2024. And if you want to watch the next episode early, you can hit the join button down below to become an honorary Marlian and get early access to videos. So let's hop into it. Let's go. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> all my theories, all my predictions from the end of last episode to the beginning of this one, out the window. Unless I'm in the framework. Colson's there, May's there, okay. <laughs> Yo, is this even Radcliffe's plan or is he still in the framework? Is this just Ada doing all this? What is she turning him into? Oh! You'll be many things. What? Oh, what is she doing? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> what is she doing? Yeah, I don't think she meant save him, like save his life. I think she meant save him, like preserve his body for later use. Save it for later. I don't know. So dang, is this real? Oh my gosh. I still don't know what to believe. When we got people that don't know they're robots and we got the framework simulation matrix stuff going on. I feel like all my predictions out the window. Nothing's gonna work out for me. The fact that they could be LMDs too. Fit Simmons episode. Maybe we could ask someone who was. Uh oh. Is it fit? Yes, Coulson. Sir. We haven't been able to locate the submarine on satellite. In your best estimation, do you think it has missile launch capabilities? Well, I couldn't know that from the one that that, yeah. <laughs> the subtitle said LMD Mac, so it's true. These LMDs know their LMDs already. That's the scary part. They have a mission. <gasps> They're surrounded. They have to be in the framework. I don't believe this. I think Daisy here should contact the Inhumans personally and oversee their transfer to HQ. I'll take care of it. I'll help me, calls. That's our top priority. Along with finding Agent May. Right. Of course. Mm, this is so scary. <laughs> uh, nice work, guys. Yeah, they, they know. Wow. Not for long. They're aware. They have a mission. That's terrifying. And then execute them on sight. Execute them on sight, the Inhumans. 
I want to get to her first. Yo, yo, we're coming to get you. Is everything okay? You're in danger. Mm hmm. Ugh. This is not going to go well. Written and directed by Jed Whedon. Maybe That's new. Gone. My phantom limb used to ache in cold weather. But now. Now you're all phantom. I don't feel that pain. What are you saying? No. Oh, God, no. What did Radcliffe do? Hey, it's okay. This is why I'm locked up in here. Hey. You're not afraid of what I'll do. You're afraid that they'll discover you. We can help them too. May, this is a good thing. This is a very good How thing. How can you possibly? Uh. The fact that she feels human and he is all programming. Been replaced. You must have felt blindsided. Like reality was crashing down. Whereas I still have my mind, but know exactly what I am. And more importantly, mm -hmm. I understand a basic truth that you don't realize yet. And what's that? That our bodies don't matter. <laughs> uh. Imagine if your greatest regret could be wiped away. Do you know what that would be? Bahrain. That's what she saw. Could have. His whole life is shield, though. Alien, you know? His it's life would be life. so different. Together. I'm saying that in the framework, we already are. It's like it's like heaven to them. I don't know. Ugh. It's all fake, though. I don't like it. Quick scan of the brain, transfer that data to a body which must have already been built. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing you could have had. Sorry. Yeah, that's the part that confused me. They already had these bodies built. From the eyes of the May android, complete physical geometry. Oh. Replaced anybody. That could make sense. What was that red thing that went off? An LMD alert detection? LMD alert. LMD detected. One. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. Oh, wait, Simmons is going to see it, but she's going to freak out and think it's Fitz. The twist will be that it's actually Simmons. She doesn't know it. Oh, uh. oh no, she's showing. So they're both going to be confused. Y'all got to do a test. Cut yourself. She's backing away from him. Oh. It doesn't matter which one it is. They're not aware. They're still themselves. Whoa, stay right there. Hey, Gemma, geez. back away. No, that could actually be fit. Figure what out? You're pointing a gun at me. Why are you pointing a gun at me? Uh, his eyes are really big right here. You were, you were the one telling me to act normal. <laughs> you were the, the LMDs were me. You knew. No Get the gun out of your hand. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an <laughs> you would if I had said that uh, if you were, you'd be programmed to. This is happening. This always happens to you, to me, to us. Test. You gotta do a test. That's so sad that it's one of them. This is gonna be a sad episode, isn't it? They're gonna have to end the life of the other. Maybe. I don't know. Like, what happens by the end of this robot arc to all these robots that are our people? They have the same memories, the same minds, the same love for the others. Like, that is so sad. Oh. <laughs> Gemma and Fitz scenes are so good. It's crazy this one scene. One scene here is better than the entirety of Secret Invasion. <laughs> I've been mentioning Secret Invasion since episode one of the entire show because it was coming out around that time. But I'm still just going to always mention it because it's like the worst show I've ever seen. <clears throat> Maybe not the worst show I've ever seen, but it's down there or how much hype i had for it and how bad it was and the fact that a single scene of agents of shield is way better than all of it yeah it's one of you but don't point a gun at him it could it could be you well, regardless of who it is don't kill it's my fault yeah it, oh yeah, that's true it is you gave them micro expressions well radcliffe did don't make me feel bad for you Oh, no, guys, don't let this break you apart. I'll do whatever you say. Okay, I'll do whatever you say. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 testing. I do what, Gemma? Cut your wrist. Whoa, whoa, not the wrist. How about. Yeah, but not the wrist. There's other parts of your body you could test. Think fits. 
Okay. We're the one that built the robots. Where's the best way to test? The big toe? Not the wrist. Please. Like the forehead or something. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, oh my That's gosh. Oh my gosh. The radio I was trying very hard to miss it. Uh, so now she's she's gonna be panicking that she's a robot. Yo, Gemma, that was the stupidest idea. Wait, is he acting? <gasps> that was crazy. I, the last second that I was like, wait, is he acting? Because he turned around. There he is. Welcome back, Doctor. Radcliffe? He doesn't know they're there. We had to restart the simulation to accommodate the new residents. The new residents. In order to reduce their pain, to fix a regret for each. Wait, is he happy about restart it? Restart the framework simulation from those moments in time. Are you mad? I am programmed to do just that. You shouldn't have done that with me plugged in. I could have lost my <laughs> grip on reality. Fitzbot. I can't believe Fitzbot is real, but he's not on a unicycle, like I said. So okay, confirmed here. I still don't see Daisy in the room. But did she not make a clone of Daisy? Well, it's still detected four LMDs, so I don't know. Either way, we got uh, Mace Bot, May Bot, Phil Bot, and Fitz Bot. And Rad, he's not a bot. That was insane. I just, uh, I want to go back and watch that Fitz Simmons scene again. Oh, the way he just flipped the knife straight out of like Captain America's uh, Winter Soldier. He's happy about it too. One of my prime directives is keeping you safe. No killing, but he's fine with kidnapping. The framework, yes, which is why we've given that Ruski all that he wants, so that he'll guarantee the framework has this palace to operate within. He's resting. Poor Alan's are in place at Shield, and it's only a matter of time before they get brain scans of the top remaining agents, Gemma, and of course, Daisy. Okay, so they don't have those yet. Yeah, they, yeah, there's Mac. Forgot about him. People could be killed in that scenario. Only if they resist. Only if they resist. Okay. Well, Gemma and Daisy are safe, so that's good. I'll suit up. Zephyr in 10. I'll be ready. I need Max arms to get their fake robot skin ripped off so he just has big metal arms and looks like Jax from Mortal Kombat. I think that'd be sick. Oh, uh, creepy fits. The rest we'll you can kiss you. Through. Uh. Did I know long to be true that can't be Wait, he's looking at her and typing? Ugh. Gross. I cannot believe that was real Gemma telling him to slit his wrists. I still think that was so dumb. She going for the mallet. So we can get married all together. Yeah, that sounds fun. Not to the robot though. It's the first time you've mentioned it. Oh. True. Getting married. That's nice. At least he can get that out through robot fits. Oh! Oh, that was smart. Oh my. Oh. He can just turn off his pain, I think. Look at me. Dude. Stop. No, it ain't. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. That, uh, I cannot imagine if, like, out of context, you're watching season one or something, and you just see, like, this on, like, a thumbnail or a YouTube video, Gemma kills Fitz scene, and then you, like, watch five seconds of that, just her stabbing Fitz. Oh, my gosh. I wonder if anyone's been spoiled like that. That would be awesome so awful you'd be wondering the whole show how does it turn into that <laughs> how does their relationship get to that level uh i love simmons best character she's insane except uh i still think saying cut your wrist was so stupid it was agent johnson yeah daisy told me to tell you she wants to check the accommodations for the incoming inhumans before we head out your containment rooms downstairs yeah. Prince. Um. 
I forgot last episode they like called out like Davis go with Simmons or some or Davis go with Fitz or something, and then Colson had someone go with him. I think he started with the M. I don't think it was Prince. It was like Marcel or some name like that. I wonder if that's gonna be like a twist, like those two random agents or robots. Also, I'm just gonna say, since he was with Colson, whoever that guy was, um, he's probably a robot. Actually, no, they would have just been asleep and. Ada specifically, Ada said there's only four LMDs in shield right now, so never mind. <gasps> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> what? What? Why do they have so many of them down there? Oh, she could just be dressed up as one of them. But what if his eye has like thermal reading or something he could see? He's got deathlock eyes, right? Which one is she? Is there an even amount of them? Did she have to move one out of the room and replace it? This is like every man's dream room. Oh, very nice. Just being surrounded by daisies. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Whoa, what a sight. We need Robbie back. Can you like call out to the devil or something? <gasps> that looks like a real thing. We can see that. They oh, that must be terrible for her. Oh. No, he's the LMD. He's gonna see it. Uh oh. My God, sir, we have to scan everyone. Oh. Yo, this got so out of hand. Oh, at least she got to see all that. <sighs> this is insane. And cut the oh yeah, they could just patch him up. Oh. Oh, they just thought it and it happened. Is Gemma hiding in there? Get away from me! Oh. What the literal hell? What did I see? <laughs> what just happened to me? It wasn't him. It wasn't him. Are you a robot? Oh. Because I just saw this is so a sad. truckload of myself and so I just noticed she has a shotgun axe until they kill you oh. no way to know until they kill you this is so scary oh my gosh the fact that Fitz made this happen I, and I, you can like see it coming from episode one like how out of control this can get we're seeing it now we're living in it oh my gosh man give me your hand I'll quake you. Don't I'll touch quake me. Give me your you. hand. I'll quake you. Not to hurt you. Not to hurt you. Just enough to feel your bones. Uh, look at her. I'm not one of them. Oh. I can prove to you that I'm not one either. An LMD wouldn't have inhuman powers, right? Yeah. That we'll both know. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Wow. Such good scenes. Oh, this whole episode's so good already. It's not even half over. To prove. He'll come around. I've observed his behavior. Oh, she's bullying I've him a robot body. And the more I see, the harder it gets to find a logic to it. Oh, you sweet girl. There is no logic to love, anger, wonder. Joy. I understand the concepts, but I don't feel them myself. My two main parameters are in opposition due to human emotions. I was programmed to protect the framework, but also to preserve your life above all others. But how is that a contradiction? Because the greatest threat to the framework, Doctor... Is him? Is you. Well, that's Why? That's simply not accurate. Well, you, Doctor, exhibit poor self-control. And if so they're all living in there, regret being fixed. You could change my parameters and have me dismantle it. Their physical bodies will eventually give out because of it. Oh, you know, that doesn't matter. Reality is just perception. They perceive it as real, which makes it real. That is interesting. An interesting theory. Fixes the paradox. I can now solve both problems at once. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, that does fix the paradox. 
I think he's fine with it. Ah, uh, Ada. Oh my gosh. What have you done? He died by his own creation. Little Frankenstein. Uh, I, I, I just, I, I've paused so much this episode. It's just a black screen that I paused on this time. By the way, Agent of Shield does that a lot. I've noticed when I go back to rewatch episodes. It's just like every scene ends with a black screen and like a two second pause. Ada just took over everything. She actually just took over everything and everyone that knows about her basically, almost everyone that knows about her is already in the framework and turned to robots. Two of our best agents and friends, Daisy Johnson and Gemma Simmons have been kidnapped. The framework's origin signal is untraceable. They could be anywhere on the planet, which is why we have to go in. From here? It's not, it's a beta phased one, right? Hack in. Hack in. Plug ourselves into the framework. And take them down. Oh my gosh. Simmons be safe. Daisy be safe. Oh. Somehow make it to the Zephyr, which we can't fly, to escape the base and try to plug our minds into an alternate reality. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Through all the insane crap we have gone through, the one thing I've known without a doubt the whole time is you and Pitts belong together. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, dude, her crying is so good. Your story I just want to hug them both. Okay. No, but actually, her crying is so strong. She's a really good actor, actress. Oh. Okay. Will it work? Knocks out all the real people, yeah, yeah. They're passing the agents. And I'll get Agent May ready for the contingency uh -oh. plan. I think May will help the humans. The way he walks, oh. Ada did not program these guys right. You're our last line of defense. What do you want me to do? May's gonna help Daisy and Simmons for sure. Yo, we're gonna have a new base after all this. The playground is done for, I feel like. I mean, it's only being gas and lit on fire and it's not completely done for, but I could totally see us getting a new base, which would be sick. Yeah, that office is burnt. Oh. She's so cool. Hot. Come on, power up. Well, I guess you don't need, need to if you don't have to. Now would be a good time, maybe. Oh. Oh, what the heck is that stomping? Ow. All of that's gotta hurt so bad. Oh, that was so cool. Daisy and I aren't the LMDs. Let's go. I don't buy it. I don't care. <laughs> oh. Daisy and Simmons. Oh, I can't watch. It's too good. Look. So good at fighting. She's been trained well. Oh. That was sick. Oh, the taser, that works well. Dang, real mace got tased. <gasps> oh, uh, they're not gonna kill you though. This is for your own good. They just wanna get your mind. But we have no choice here. She's gonna bring the place crumbling down. We're a team. She's doing. Oh, uh. oh, oh, that looks so cool. It's whoa, that's a deadly attack. I imagine that on a human. Wow, Piper, you almost killed Simmons, and I would have hated you. I would have, I would have stopped watching the show actually. That attack that she did, little Kamehameha. Wow, that was crazy. That was a really cool effect too. The skin coming off him almost reminded me of when he was Ghost Rider for a second. Also, I gotta say, um, they have to go find Joey after this episode because his 
metal melting and reforming powers on LMDs. Could you imagine that? Is it just me thinking of this right now? Go find Joey. I know he quit. I, it doesn't matter. He has the powers. You need him. You'd be able to tell if people are metal or not by reshaping their body. A fire is spreading in there. Yeah, bye bye playground. Anyone you see who's awake is a robot. Oh my gosh, Gemma and Daisy have been through too much this episode. I, I can't believe it. No, 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 it's, she's fine. Explosives. Last line of defense, that's what he meant. That's what he meant. Colson, I have them. Uh, what, what do you do? I don't know. Daisy fleet downstairs with face He's alive and fits. Be ready to release them. I thought he got blown apart too, but I guess not. She let them go. Wait, what? I thought you said you had them. Oh, <gasps> May. May, bo May bot, May bot. What I wanted to. Bye bye, playground. Wait, are, are our people? Is do we still got people in there? Trap him. Close the door on him. Why don't you and I have a glass of scotch, or many, and talk this out like we always do? We. Holy. We've never done that before. Is this snowing? Our programming is different. Are you afraid to die? Because I am. Oh, it's like really them. Her, at least. But, but you feel real. Pain less real. You don't have to feel pain. You say you don't anymore. But that pain, that regret, that's what made you a person. Mm hmm. A person I love. Yeah. Davis, you got this? <laughs> this episode's insane. <laughs> uh huh. But my impulse to keep Colson safe and close, that desire, that came from me. That's good. Huh, he does not understand. I'm sorry to say. Blow him up. You're not him. <laughs> You're not him. I'm him. Oh my gosh. Oh. Bye, playground. Bye bye. Okay, yeah, Piper got. They all got out. All the, the agents they dragged up. Yo, yo. So you just plug yourself into these avatars? Hook up with our people and find out where on earth their bodies are being held. And rescue them. How did they do that so fast? Okay, this is just like. That was way too fast, I feel like. They're hacking into the framework? But dying in there will definitely kill you, so. Be okay. Careful. Yeah, because you feel everything on the outside. You too. Yeah, this would be. Oh. I could just imagine someone dying on the outside here. Like Ada just slits one of their throats. It could be like Fitz or something. Just dead. And every time our characters, like Gemma or anyone, wants to go see Fitz, they have to put the, that on and go into the framework to see him. I could imagine that happening to one of our characters. I would be so mad. And remember, even if our vitals are going haywire, do not... Do not pull you out or wake you up, I know. So then how do you wake up? Just promise me you'll... You have to do it on your own? Back, okay? I promise. There they go. Wow. Into Radcliffe's framework. Here we go. Huh. <gasps> Bad? It really is like an, another dimension or reality. Wake up your boyfriend. Oh, she's gonna have Lincoln in here. Or will it be like anyone else? It will be Lincoln, right? It would be. Or is it the guy from season one? <laughs> or Ward? He has, black, he has black hair? Wait, wait. Did Lincoln have black hair? Yeah. <laughs> it's Ward! <laughs> no. The framework it has reward. Oh wait, look, Colson's teaching. Why we fear them? Oh, this is nice in here. Wait, we should stay. <laughs> no, let's not stay. Wait, this is so cool. Oh, I'm so hyped. Oh, this would have been a crazy ending to the season, and then we go into season five, and that's in the framework. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yo, can I dress like that? How did? Fitz looks insane. Wait, this is so cool. Gemma? Wait, we didn't get to see you. Wait, Gemma's dead. Wait, is she gonna wake up in there? 
Why does bad stuff always happen to Gemma? Please. Wait, did she wake up? Oh, she's in her happy place. Wait, green. Wait, is she in Hydra? Wait, that's the elevator. That's a Captain America elevator. <laughs> is it? She was wearing a Hydra uniform. Hydra took over, didn't they? <gasps> they did. Oh, my. oh, what an episode. Wait, there's more. I don't care about you, Russian. Dude. Ah. Uh, oh. So what you make? Him? This body is mechanical. Yes. The other one? What? You're controlling oh. it remotely. A perfect machine, controlled with a mind endowed with the ability to feel love, anger, wonder, uh -huh. joy. Joy. When? When I am able to feel those things myself. Oh, interesting. Oh, guys. This was an amazing episode. I'm, I'm blown away. First off, Elizabeth Henstridge and Chloe Bennett. Perfection. Perfection. That Gemma and Fitz scene, incredible. I didn't know who was going to turn out to be the LMD until Fitz kneeled over and faced the other direction. And then he just flips around, stabs her. Oh. And then Gemma gets on top and oh my, oh my gosh. Ah, uh, I'm honestly glad my theory didn't come true about only it being Fitz and Simmons that were in the framework and this was just their framework simulation that they were doing. No, the, the framework wouldn't put them in a scenario like this. It would put them in their like happiest of times, I guess, or like it's just a better life. This is too close to their reality right now. So it wouldn't have been like that. But fits in the framework. Oh, he looks crazy cool. His style is completely different, and his hair and everything. I like that. Ward, Ward, wait, I just forgot. Yeah, so much happened this episode. Ward isn't. We're we're getting him back. Brett Dalton. Um. Also, this was a Jed Whedon episode, which I guess is he directing from now on, or is it just a one-off thing? It was very good. He must have saved up. He must have read the dark hold and saved up all his energy to put it into this one episode here. That was insane. This feels like a finale. And I again, just like episode nine. Was it episode nine? Yeah, because he was right or die in episode eight. And I felt like that was like the ending of an arc. This feels like an ending of an arc, and we're going into the framework. This felt like a season finale, and that was like the ending going into it the next season. So I wouldn't be surprised if season four here has a third opening. Would it? No, the robot stuff still makes sense. So I don't, the robot opening still fits very well. Um, Radcliffe died. <laughs> what? Maybot, Colesbot, or Philbot, Macbot, they all died. Fitzbot, we didn't see blow up, but the whole playground blew up, so I'm guessing he blew up too. We just didn't see it, so I'm a little scared. Ward is back, and... <sighs> Oh, Simmons in the framework is dead, buried. And if she's taking over the body of her, is she just dead? Is she just, or does she wake up in there? No, because she can't wake up as a skeleton. She's just like asleep on the Zephyr and will never wake back up or what? They didn't account for that. She's dead. So what is she doing when she puts on the goggle? The, the, not the goggles, the headset. Where does she go? Nothing? Just blackness? Death? Why Simmons every time? The, the, the writers just love to do terrible things to this character. At the end of season two, he gets sucked into a rock. At the end of season one, almost dies at the bottom of the ocean. In season three, she's on another planet. She has to deal with hive stuff and losing a almost boyfriend kind of thing and it's just like going through traumatic experiences constantly and then she's like oh we could finally save the day here we have a great plan to enter the framework she puts it on and she's either in a coffin trapped under the earth or she's just not in there she's just not waking up just dead why in that life is she dead that's what i'm 
wondering. The framework is supposed to be a happy place. There shouldn't even be death there, but it's like a one-to-one -one reality, so. And why is Hydra thriving in the framework? Did Ada make that decision? What leads to that? It really is like an alternate reality, which was kind of what I was guessing, because I was like, what if Radcliffe didn't make this, but the Darkhold actually taught them how to enter another multiverse, and they're taking over the minds of their other halves in that multiverse. Kind of like when Wanda can dream hop or whatever and take over the mind of another Wanda in another multiverse. They're doing the same thing. I'm still wondering if the framework is that and they didn't actually like design it, but Radcliffe seemed like he designed it. He said that he designed it. So it's like, I don't know, but it would be a cool twist if like the Darkhold changed it to instead of it being a design, it's a another reality. Holy man. What an episode. One of the best. I hope the characters, though, I hope they realize that if another LMD outbreak happens, they need to go get Joey. Also, I don't know what Yo-Yo is going to do, but she's been absent ever since episode 8. and It's kind of sad. So Yo-Yo's back. She's in the Zephyr, but she's not going into the other reality. She's not going into the framework. She's just guarding their bodies, I guess, in the Zephyr. Um, the playground is lost. Ward is back. Hydra's back. Kind of, I guess. May is in Hydra. That was the first thing I noticed because she was just standing there. I was like, oh, she's got a new suit, but it had green symbol right there, which was a circle, like the Hydra symbol. She had green sleeves down here. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> well, but yeah, what leads May in another life to work for Hydra? I guess Hydra just wins or maybe they're just the good organization. I don't know. I guess without Phil... Phil, why do I keep saying that? Because I keep thinking Philbot. Okay, that's why. But no, I was saying Phil before I came up with Philbot. I don't know. Anyways, I think because Coulson is a teacher now, who's hating on Inhumans as well, which is crazy. Because he's a teacher, he wasn't there to stop Garrett and all this from happening, and that's why Hydra took over? Who knows? Ada made some weird adjustments to the world. Oh, I... I'm scared. I'm so curious of what Daisy is gonna say to to Grant in her bed. She can't just go along with it, right? None of this matters to her. She won't want to stay, right? This is not gonna be like another hive drug addiction type thing where she wants to stay. I think she's gonna be very weirded out by Ward being there, but he's gonna be so nice to her that... And maybe they're part of Hydra. Wait. Oh, maybe... Oh, wait a second. Wait, maybe they're all part of Hydra. Fitz getting out of that car? Oh, they could all be Hydra. <laughs> oh, I really hope we see Cal again. That would be sick. I really like Cal. I wonder if Daisy's going to be Daisy. Or if Ward's going to refer to her as Sky. Or what exactly her regret that's changed here will be. But if they're all parts of Hydra, that would be insane. I didn't even think of that, because I'm like, yeah, May is just Hydra. Everyone else is like doing their own fun stuff. Uh, that means even that, though Radcliffe just died, he's going to be in there still. Um, Like, what else could happen? There's, there could be so much. This is so fun. That is one of the coolest endings to an episode I've ever seen for a show. Not off the top of my head can I think of shows that have as good of endings as that in one episode but i know i've seen some pretty insane endings to certain things um but yeah this has to be one of the top ones top 10. i really like that ending i cannot believe one of colson's biggest regrets is being a part of shield or i guess just maybe wondering what his life is like without shield and as that teacher i wonder if he's secretly part of hydra i'm just so upset <laughs> what they do to Gemma every season. It's literally like worse than strangling a puppy. She is such an innocent, cute character. The way they treat her, I hate it, I, I hate seeing it. Goes to play VR, dead. I'm so excited for the next episode. I'm hopping into it right now. I'm going right now. I wanna see this framework, so I'm gonna do that. Jed, great job, perfect episode, thank you. So good. Every scene had me pausing after the scene was over. Like, uh, like actually every scene. Honestly, this episode could just go up by itself this week. I don't know. Before we end out this episode, I just got to say, um, the only scene, the only scene that made this episode not perfect 
was a real Gemma, real Gemma, telling Fitz to cut his wrists. That is not a good test. That cannot be the best test you can come up with on the spot. You know, there is an LMD detector right outside the door. If you just pass under it like a little metal detector, it'll say if, if the LMD alert goes off. Unless those are one-time use doors, that could explain it. The door went off once and it detected that one of them was an LMD. But the fact that they could have walked out the room and went under that detector, just like, imagine, just Gemma goes under, nothing happens. Fitz goes under, LMD detected. Easy test. Of course, Fritz wouldn't have gone through with it because he was LMD. He was going to stab her anyways. But still, Gemma. Gemma, think. That was the only scene. That was the only one. Everything else perfect. Ugh. I love this episode. That was great. I'm going to hop into the next one. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Dislike it if you dislike it. Tell your friends, grandma, grandpa, uncle, aunt, cousins to watch S.H.I.E.L.D. And to watch this video and to subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to 20,000 in 2024. And if you want to watch the next episode early, you can hit the join button down below and become an honorary Marley and to do that, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.